Good evening friends, I am Mikhilis Yadav. Today I will be talking about autoregressive integrated moving average which is famous by ARIMA model. Well, in ARIMA model, AR is called autoregressive term. AR in the model assumes that a time series is a function of its own past values. For example, yt equal to function of yt minus 1, yt minus 2 and so on. Similarly, i in ERIMA is called integrated feature of a time series. It means how many times a series is to be differenced so as to make it stationary. If a time series becomes stationary after first differencing, it is called integrated of order first. And then MA in ERIMA represents moving average term. MA in the model assumes that a time series is a function of its errors. For example, yt equal to function of yt minus 1, yt minus 2 and so on. ERIMA is also known as Box Jenkins methodology. Now, the question is, ERIMA is working on its past values or error terms. So, in order to know, we are supposed to find out a suitable model so that we can forecast any particular series. So, uh, like ERIMA PDQ, it means P is the number of autoregressive terms d is the number of differences, q is the number of moving average term. Like if I say ERIMA 101, it simply means 1 here is nothing but autoregressive terms which is denoted by p, o is nothing but differences. It means at which level or differences your series has become stationary which is denoted by t. And here 1 is nothing but moving average term which is denoted by Q. So we can say that ERIMA model is 101. If it follows your autoregressive term 1, stationarity at level and moving average at 1. Now the question is how to estimate or how to forecast uh, any particular series with ERIMA model. For that, there are three steps which we are supposed to follow. A step first is talking about model identification. Second is talking about parameter estimation. And third is talking about diagnostic checking. In model identification, we find out a tentative model based on autoregressive, stationarity and moving average. Then in second step, we talk about estimation of its parameters. It means whatever we find a tentative model in first step, we estimate its parameters based on regression output. And then we talk about the last phase that is diagnostic checking. In this phase, we find out a suitable model based on different information like AIC, R square, adjusted R square, F, T, ETC. So these are the three steps which have to be followed in order to forecast.